Alright, so it's August, and that means Advanced Reader Copy Arc August, and I haven't participated in this before because I didn't have Advanced Reader Copies, and this year, this year I do. And I'm loving it, like, it just, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like being handed the keys to a theme park. It's like, enjoy! You get to read this book and tell us what you think before the rest of the public sees it on bookshelves. And it's just, it's a magical feeling, guys. It's a magical feeling. <laughs> so I have seven arcs I'm reading this month. And the first is A is for Asteroid, Z is for Zombies. And I would give this book 10 stars on Goodreads because it's just that good. And it's proposed as a children's bedtime book, but it is very clearly for adults in the subject material. It's hilarious. The illustrations are incredible. Um, I use that word a lot, don't I? Oh well. Um, <laughs> but hilarious doesn't even begin to cover it. But I highly recommend this. Go pre-order it. I. I am, because I mean all my arcs are actually digital copies, so I want this as a, like, a tangible book because it's just that great. Um, so the next one is Middle Grade and it is Spin the Golden Light Bulb. And this book is so empowering for young girls. The main character is an 11 year old who wants to be an inventor and the education system is different because this book is set in 2071. Guys, in 2071, I'd be 80. Like, <laughs> this this future that may or may not happen, we don't know because everything about the future is completely uncertain. So it was very interesting reading about this competition, this team competition that she goes through and the friendships are great and I highly recommend this book for pretty much everyone because I'm 25 and I adored this book and there is going to be a sequel. This doesn't come out in 2018 but I already want to read the sequel so it was very very good. I've also been currently reading The Librarian of Auschwitz. Um, the original is by Antonio Iturbe but this is actually a translated book and I know I haven't really been saying author's names because I am terrified that I'm going to mispronounce somebody's name and I really don't like doing that. So. The rest of the authors are going to be listed in the box below because uh, I'm shaking. Um, <laughs> but this is a translation from Spanish, I believe. Far am I through this? I'm like 35% of the way through it, I think. Where did Goodreads go? I never like closing that tab because I always have to reopen it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like 22% of the way through, but already it's like I had to put it down. I went over to spin the golden light bulb and I finished that because this book is very, very depressing. Based on the experience of a real-life Auschwitz prisoner, Dita Kraus, this is the incredible story of a girl who risked her life to keep the magic of books alive during the Holocaust. And it's a heavy read. And in the fictional book, the character is 14. And just, wow, some of the descriptions and the... It's heavy. <laughs> like... I remember reading Elie Wiesel's Night and it's just it's kind of along the lines of like this is definitely a book for high schoolers and older. Um, it's very well written, translated, so yeah. I highly recommend this translation. <laughs> it's like I only requested advanced reader copies because that's how it works on NetGalley so I only requested ones that I did want to read and I'm not like an auto-approved member or anything yet. So. so all these books I want to read and so my opinion of them is pretty high but wow I really did have to put The Librarian of Ashwas aside to start reading Spin the Golden Light Bulb for two reasons. That I wanted to get more of my reviews in and because this book is so dark. It's so dark. I'm, there's a message of hope. I mean, it is based on the real life story of someone who survived through this, but it's just, it's a horrible thing. But it's something we need to learn from. So I definitely say this is a book you should be reading. Um, the next book is The Golden House. And this, guys, this is like, I haven't started this yet, but it's 
basically the book starts on the first day of President Obama's inauguration. I believe the first term and some very rich person moves into Manhattan. So it's fiction and the name's not you know what but when I saw this on the millions list of hyped books for the rest of 2017 I immediately knew I need to read this. So I can't wait to get started. That's going to be the next book I read after The Librarian of Auschwitz. So yeah. Um, and, and the next book is Periods Gone Public. Guys, this looks great. Um, this is the nonfiction book I have on my list of advanced reader copies. And, and the next book, I actually like put my phone down and did a dance when I got approved for this advanced reader copy is Artemis, which is by the author of The Martian. Like, guys, that book is one of my favorites. I love the movie. Well, okay, the movie was good. The movie was very good. It just, it didn't go as in-depth as the book did, and the book was amazing, incredible. I started reading it when I was in hospital. Uh, long story. Um... You might see on my Twitter and stuff that I have, like, stomach problems, and it was, like, in the veins of that, but I had anemia, so and that's because I have gastritis, and I was scared to eat too much, and I wasn't getting enough iron, and I'm getting enough iron, I'm all good now. Um, <laughs> but I started reading that. I took it out on my 3M Cloud Library app. I was like, cool, I logged in with my library card onto an app on my phone and I could get books out from my library ebooks. So I started reading The Martian and I loved every minute of it. Um, my congratulations, you're not in the hospital anymore present was a NASA sweatshirt. Like, <laughs> so good. I can't wait to read this. Uh, let's see. It's, this is a totally different, it's not connected to it, but it is set in space, and it's female protagonist. I can't freaking wait, you guys. I can't freaking wait to read that. Um, and this book comes out the day before my birthday, so I'm gonna read it, and then I'm gonna pre-order it, and I'm gonna have it on my birthday. <laughs> I am excited. Um... And the last book I have is, doesn't come out until 2018, March. The title's very morbid. It is A Guide for Murdered Children. Um, the, the description of it is like, souls of murdered children are coming back and there's an NYPD detective and the cover's all pink and sparkly and it's just, I had to request it. And when I got approved again, I was very, very excited. I can't wait to read this, so... I'm probably gonna end up giving all these books five stars unless something goes horribly awry because I love these books and the authors and the, 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 the. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so those are my seven advanced reader copies that I will be reading this month and then hopefully I'll get on to the let's see one two three four eight books I've taken out from the library. So we'll see if I can read, you know, 15 books this month. What's today, the 9th? We'll see. <laughs> Until next time. Bye, guys.